Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are watching me for the first time, my name is Sahil Agarwal. I've just completed my B.Tech in Computer Science from IIT Kanthi Nagar. This video is going to be very very special because in this video, I am going to share my experience of giving J Advanced with you. This year J Advanced is on 26th of May. Many of you guys would be giving it, so I wish you all the best, all the luck, and I request you guys to watch this video till the end. I am damn sure that you will understand the importance of being in the present and not worry much about the result because at the end, the result matters the least. You will learn from my experiences. I will also share my J advanced rank so stay tuned till the end and for more such videos related to IIT and engineering do subscribe to the channel like the video and share it with all your friends and you can comment down any queries any suggestions which you may have for me I will definitely try to reply to you. So it was 27th September 2020 the country recorded more than 97,000 COVID cases, which was the highest till that date. There was this fear of getting COVID within me, plus the pressure of performing well in that examination, which I had studied for two years. To be honest, I did not study well in my 11th standard. It was only in 12th that I realized that, oh, shit dude i will have to study otherwise my life will become hell if i don't clear iit and that is what you guys would be thinking right but don't stress upon those things they don't matter at the end what matters is your calmness what matters is your belief in the process and i would advise you guys to just focus on that six hour examination it will grill you but trust me the process of giving that examination will teach you a lot. I would like to give you guys a short recap. So my J mains first attempt was held on 8th January 2020 and the percentile which I scored was 99.29 and later the, when uh, I got the result of J mains my rank was 7931 and I was extremely happy with this rank because I actually did not think that I will get such a rank. I was very happy because now I knew that with this rank I will be able to get admission into the best private college of Gujarat which is D-A-I-I-C-T, the Rubai Ambani Institute of Information and Communication Technology. So I was very happy and I felt like, okay, life is sorted because the placements are also very good for this college. Post this result, I actually started working very hard for J-Advance. I gave my board exams too, but during the third week of March, lockdown was announced and the date of J-Advance, which typically is the Sunday of the last week of May, got shifted. These COVID days actually up my mental health because my dad went into depression all the income sources were stopped for my family so it was a very difficult time for me and my family and when i was uh, seeing these things i actually was quite tensed and was quite worried and was not able to focus on my studies i stopped studying which i regret now because i feel that if i would have studied my rank would have been different but again i would say the same thing that don't stress much about the rank uh, stress on the process stress on how you can handle that pressure stress upon that if you will do these things right the rank will automatically be good i gave my second attempt of j mains on 6 september and i remember that i did not perform well uh, my percentile was 98.5 i guess but then there were only 20 days left for the j advanced examination and i remember that i went through all my notes i practiced a lot of mock examinations and the only thing which i studied in those 20 days was inorganic chemistry because inorganic chemistry is something which is purely based on rectification you only have to remember things so that is what i studied for those 20 days Finally, that day came, which we all the students were waiting for so long. The examination got delayed a lot, but finally I was going to appear for it. I remember that the center which I got was actually 30 kilometers from my house. And me and my dad were ready by 7 a.m. And I still remember that me and my dad went to the center on his bike. We reached there by 8, 8, 15 a.m. The first paper of the examination was going to start from 9 a.m., which is typically the case in each of the J advanced examination. The first paper starts from 9, goes till 12, and the second paper is from 2 to 5. Now, the real drama starts. I was given my seat by one of the invigilators and see the luck. Besides me sat one boy who constantly coughed throughout those three hours with 97,000 cases registered for that day and there's this guy sitting beside me constantly coughing. What do you think I would have been going through at that moment of time? I was a lot scared and actually could not change my seat because the seats are fixed for every candidate. So I was stuck there but somehow i managed to remove that person's presence from my mind and i focused only on the examination that was truly a test of my focus now in the second paper also see the luck that same guy sat beside me and again he was coughing 
for the next three hours imagine as a 17 year old guy with all this covid thing around us everything was uncertain at that moment of time we didn't knew where the world was heading towards there was no vaccine at that moment of time so everyone was uncertain that what will happen next if i get covid then what so uh, this was all what was going through my mind but somehow again managed to remove that person's presence from my mind and I focused on my paper and somehow managed my J advanced paper. It was a terrible paper, super difficult. The total marks of that paper were 396 and I scored 134 out of 396. So now take a moment and guess my rank. So I'm sure by till now you would have one number in your mind. So I ended up getting a rank of 6766 in my J advanced, which I feel was great according to my preparation. I only scored 33% of the total marks and I was able to secure a rank less than 7000, which actually shows the toughness of that paper. After this rank, I was adamant that, okay, I'm not getting into an IIT because I desperately wanted computer science. And at this rank, I was not getting computer science in any IIT. So I thought, Said, okay that's not a problem i will get into daicit which is the best private college of gujarat and the placement stats are also good uh, back then i used to judge a college only through the placement stats which i feel is completely wrong you should see the overall thing which the college has to offer to you but as they say right destiny does play a role we can only make plans but the world does not move according to our plans the world moves according to god's plan this is what i believe in and i don't know why I registered in the JOSA counseling and I locked chemical engineering at IIT Gandhinagar in my second down itself. This was maybe because of a phone call which I received from one of my teachers from my coaching that completely changed my life. Uh, at the end of my first year, I was able to change my branch from chemical to computer science. At the end of my second year, I was able to crack an internship offer from DE Shaw. At the end of third year, I was able to get a PPO from DE Shaw. And then fourth year was all about YouTube and now we are a family of nearly 12,000 subscribers and more importantly I met my two roommates such pure souls I admit and a bunch of friends whom I spent a lot of time with I learned a lot from them and I feel not taking up DICT and coming into IIT Gandhinagar was something which I would always cherish and it completely changed my life my personality changed everything changed uh, it was a great experience for me now I will come to the point that why result of one examination cannot decide your future. There are so many paths ahead, man. Most of the students studying in engineering colleges actually don't want to do engineering. Most of the people who are going to give J advanced examination actually don't want to give, but they are doing so because of the herd mentality. And that is when pressure arises. When you start feeling that if I don't perform well in this examination or if I don't do well in the placements, that will ruin my life. But that is not the case. There are so many paths ahead. Success is not only because of you. There is always some element of luck involved in that. Failure is not always because of you. There is always some element of bad luck involved in that. So if in everything, some element of luck or some element of things which we can't control in our life are present, then why to take tension? Just put in the right effort with honesty and move on. Again, I wish you the best for your examination. Just believe in your preparation. Stay calm and you will be good to go. I hope you enjoyed listening to my story and learned something new from it. That's all for this video. I will meet you in the next one. Till then, keep learning, keep growing and stay healthy.